Derrick Henry is now going to the Baltimore Ravens in a offseason that I would say myself is one of the craziest offseasons that I've seen in a long time, especially for the running back position. You got Joe Mixon going to the Texans. You got Josh Jacobs signing with the Packers. You got Zach Moss going to the Bengals. You have Austin Eckler going to the Commanders. There were a lot of moves for the running back position, and I think I'm forgetting a few just off the top of my head. Aaron Jones went somewhere. I believe it was the Vikings. It's a a lot of different things that have been going on in this offseason that has honestly made this one of the craziest offseason in a very long time but today we're going to talk about Derrick Henry going over to the Baltimore Ravens and what this could potentially mean for the Ravens a team that I honestly believe tried to get away from their identity especially in that championship game against the Chiefs don't know why they didn't run the ball more but at the same time you could tell throughout the season that they wanted to prove that Lamar Jackson could get it done with his arm instead of just letting the man cook the way that I think he should cook but at the end of the day it is what it is but before we get into all that make sure that you guys like comment and also subscribe to the channel we're on the way to 2,000 subscribers I would really appreciate that if you could help a brother out and with that being said let's go ahead and get into this video now with the departure of Gus Edwards we knew that the Baltimore Ravens would be doing what they could do in order to land another running back to help Lamar Jackson out in the backfield now I believe personally that Derrick Henry has at least three to four years left at the running back spot now I'm not saying that we're going to get vintage King Henry running the football but what I am saying is I think he will fulfill this two-year deal worth 20 mil potentially and I believe that he has another two years after that now I think it will be more maybe like some Adrian Peterson type stuff but at the end of the day for a running back to potentially make it to age 34 is something that we do not see that often right and so how do you think and how do I think the Ravens will benefit from Derrick Henry being there now Derrick Henry is somebody who adds a lot I believe that the Tennessee Titans had one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL last year and now he's going somewhere where he will not have to carry the entire load but at the same time if you look at the Baltimore Ravens they led a lot of statistical categories in the rushing area I mean the team rushed very well and very effectively when they did it right so how can they improve upon that and I think it will be in the big playability and the key moments that is where I believe that Derrick Henry will show his value especially being someone who has had these one thousand yard seasons over and over and over again and ironically enough I believe the last person who was able to have a 1,000 yard rushing season for the Baltimore Ravens was Derrick Henry's Alabama mentor in Mark Ingram so that was a while ago I cannot remember off the top of my head what year he was there but I'm pretty sure it was at least four or five years ago right and so I believe Derrick Henry will go on this season to have at least a 1,000 yard rushing season depending on how many carries he get now you could have a situation where the Ravens kind of limit his carries just a little bit just because he is 30 and if that's the case then well, he may not get to the old 1000 yards but if they don't if they give him around 15 16 carries per I think he will be able to easily get to that 1000 yard mark which will immediately and actively end that curse and I can already see it now the RPO game is going to be insane this is a dangerous combination of players getting together and I believe the only question a lot of people have is the fact that Derry Henry is 30 but in my opinion I believe that Derry Henry is one of those guys who is going to defy the test of time at the running back position he is undoubtedly the best running back of his generation after Adrian Peterson was on the back end of his prime you insert Derrick Henry into the NFL and there you go the best running back a Hall of Famer 
in my opinion and somebody who i honestly believe was just losing his mind in tennessee and i am so happy for derrick henry in this moment because he now has a chance to actually win something when he was in tennessee i think and i was hoping that he would be leaving earlier but he was there doing everything that he could running behind a bad offensive line and still getting the job done the man was at the pro bowl this season i know how a lot of people feel about the pro bowl but at the same time it really doesn't matter he made it and it is what it is <laughs> look all i'm saying is derrick henry is going to prove a lot of people wrong especially if his health maintain the same consistency that it has been throughout these years and if you look at lamar jackson lamar jackson is someone who i honestly believe would benefit from having another threat in the backfield and i'm not saying gus edwards was not a threat in the backfield but Eric Henry is undoubtedly an improvement. And if the Baltimore Ravens play their cards right, we're going to see greatness. And I believe we're going to see rushing numbers that we have never seen before. And I know this is a pass first lead, but just imagine when the Baltimore Ravens get a lead. Now, you will not have to worry about the Baltimore Ravens giving up lead after lead after lead, in which I felt like they do from time to time. They give up these leads. For some reason, I have no idea, but it seems like they go through these spurts where they cannot generate any offense, and then other times they go through spurts where they cannot be stopped. And I think Derrick Henry brings a sense and a feel of consistency that the Baltimore Ravens simply did not have right now they were spurty they were streaky they're like that three-point shooter who is very very good but if he's cold he's cold but when he's hot it's on and popping you know what i'm saying so with that being said though let me know what you guys think about the addition of derrick henry to the baltimore ravens i think it's a great pickup and i'm interested to see what else they decide to do especially when it comes to adding another wide receiver to the mix i think they do need to do that but with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. I'm Hughes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.